Hey guys, Matt here, and today we're going to be checking out the new Nintendo Direct trailer here for the 9th of February 2023. Uh, there's a lot of hype around this, though. lots of people are looking forward to some games that are going to be announced, and many people are expecting that Zelda is probably going to be announced at the very, very end. So, so we're going to be having a look at this Nintendo Direct together, and we're going to be having a look at it through the perspective of someone who wants to learn Japanese and kind of see what nice games there are on the horizon for Japanese language learners, as well as a nice way of just kind of immersing in some Japanese and seeing what cool games are coming up on the horizon. All right, we started, man. I got some hype. Hell yeah. This has definitely gotten to the point where Nintendo Directs are a little bit more hyped than what they used to be with like E3 and stuff. Like just watching Nintendo Directs is such a... What's this? Okay, we got a spaceship. It's too pretty for Metroid. Pikmin! Nice. <laughs> very nice. So Pikmin, I've never actually played this game, but it's very, very adorable. I think it first came out on the GameCube or something? And then it was on the Wii, so a whole bunch of stuff I never really got super into, but... Wow, adorable. How charming. Oh, look at the little birds. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. Whoa. Oh, I love that feeling of like being surrounded by leaves. I used to imagine that when I was a kid, right? Like you'd see like the world that happens underneath and imagining if you were this little guy walking through the world. Whoa, nice animations. Very Nintendo feel to it. Right? It really feels like a Nintendo game. Hello. Aka Pikmin. So, a red Pikmin. Ah, it's adorable. Okay, so what is the deal with this game? Like, I'm not sure. Are you like an alien invading other planets or something? I'm not too sure. Ah, it's adorable. Oh, look at that little thing. There's binoculars, and they're picking- oh, that's cute. Oh, and they absorbed it! Like, they Metal Gear Solid 5'd it! They just whoop! <laughs> Pick that up. Wow, this game is very charming. That's adorable. Okay. Oh, some Zelda stuff going on, freezing. It's very cute. A doggy? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, that's great, you got a little doggy. Wow, this is a really charming- <gasps> Furigana! It has Furigana! Oh my god, instantly Pikmin, the best Japanese learning game? What the hell? Yes! I love to see more games with Furigana in it. Uh, if you don't know, Furigana is the small little right there. You see the kanji and then there's hiragana written on top of it. This is incredibly useful for a Japanese language learner because it means you don't need to be worried about kanji. You can start this game as a complete beginner. So Pikmin 4 is now a beginner-friendly game for Japanese learners. That's incredible. Oh my god. That is gross. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. Wow, okay, okay, cool. So we're getting another adorable game for beginners in Japanese, right? We've got Animal Crossing, we've got Pokemon, Yokai Watch, and now we have Pikmin <laughs> to add onto the list of beginner friendly games. Cool. Very interesting. I wonder if there's more dialogue in this game, like if there is much dialogue at all. I'm I'm curious. What's this? What do we got? Like a Luigi's Mansion? <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Alright. Yeah. Oh, very hot. Okay, so that's coming in July. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. So all of these games are going to be games that are coming out this year, I believe. Oh, konnichiwa. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you, Shinya Takahashi. Mm, we just saw Pikmin 4. A dog? No yona ikimono, so a thing like a dog? I wonder how it's going to help you. Please expect more information. And let's have a look at the next headline. Right. A new hero, a jewel master, Meister. Ah, Xenoblade, cool, okay. Xenoblade's kind of cool. It's a very difficult game for a Japanese language learner, but it looks like they're already doing... What, more DLC? That's crazy, this game just came out and they've already got new DLC. I wonder when this comes out. Hell yeah. Man, Xenoblade has really good music. Like, all 1, 2, and 3 have very good music. I love the vibes. Okay. 
case you have challenges and stuff. Ooh, the fourth wave? Who's that? Hey, that's Shook! Isn't that Shook? Wasn't that Shook? That's Shook from the first one. Really? No, it must just be a similar character. Oh, it, it looks like Xenoblade. I don't know what's going on, man. That's cool. Whoa, it's coming out really soon. Okay, a couple of days away. Skip. <laughs> Uh, it's just a rhythm game, yeah. If you're really into like Japanese media and stuff, you should probably play the Final Fantasy rhythm game, which we may see in this video. Uh, there's a new rhythm game coming out for that, which has all of the Final Fantasy music with Neo Automata as well, Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger. It's insane. Uh, th that's about to be coming out soon for Nintendo Switch, so it's definitely a lot better than this one, I think. But this seems to be a little bit more of like a fitness type game, right? You're moving your arms and stuff. Oh, that's kind of adorable. Okay. A, a fashion influencer game. So if you want to be an influencer, this is the not an influenza, sorry, an inf influencer. <laughs> uh, like Instagram. Wow, okay. So a game for people who like Instagram and... Interesting. That's cute. I wonder if it has any Japanese. Uh, it has a little bit, but not much. It'd be nice if there was like explanations for the items, but it doesn't seem to have it. But maybe, maybe it might be a really good game if you want to learn fashion language and stuff, perhaps. It has a lot of fashion, but I don't see any language. Like, where's the, the item descriptions and stuff? <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> Probably not too much language in that one, but maybe for some people it might be a good one. What's up next? Mickey's Illusion Island. Wasn't this like an old game on like the Super Nintendo? Japanese dubs! Oh, that's adorable! I hope this game has Furigana. Oh yes, the platformer! Platformers with voice acting. Thank you, Kamisama. Thank you, game Kamisama Japan. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, okay, so it's very much like Cuphead style animation, which is what this was all influenced on in the first place. You know, old, old Mickey. The original Mickey style, right? It's got nice music. Oh, it's adorable! Oh, man. oh wait, it has split screen? Oh no, just different characters, I see. Ah, that's nice. Die Jumper! Big jump! Ah, Kyoryoku, cooperation. Ah, that's pretty adorable, right? I gotta admit, that's pretty cute. Okay, coming out in July as well. We've got lots of July games. 50 bucks? Yeah, not too bad price. Pick up titles. Okay, what do we got? Ooh, Octopath Traveler, yes! Oh man, that's gonna be my birthday present right there. February 24th. Oh, that looks so cool. This style is made for me. <gasps> Taikenban? For three hours? Oh my god, I think I know what my next vocab video is. Is the demo out right now? I didn't... Hey, wait, 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 come back! Oh, ghost trick! Nice! Oh, this is cool! Uh, Justin from the Game Gengo Discord community, uh, he was really into this game for a while, played it for a while. That's so cool! Oh, that's nice. Okay, so... Ghost Trick is coming to Nintendo Switch. This is a kind of interesting game. Nice! It actually has like HD uh, text now, so it's much easier to read. That's great. It just oozes style, right? It's such a cool game. Alright, what's next? Ah, the Bayonetta. This is a very cute looking game, and it has voice acting, so it has some potential. Mm, it's very pretty. 
I'm kind of getting like storybook, almost Orkami vibes right now. Oh, that's oh, that very much looks like Orkami. Very similar art style. Whoa! Oh no, this is Orkami. This is awesome. Okay, if you're a fan of Orkami, this is going to be a cool game for you. It actually has voice acting as well, that's really cool. Whoa. It's got a nice art style. Like, it definitely looks pretty cool, right? There's some nice vibrant colors, but it has, it definitely has its own theme, right? It's kind of the faded colors. Whoa, that's really colorful. It's cool. Oh, water against fire? This actually looks like a fun game, even if you're not a fan of Bayonetta. It actually looks quite cool. We didn't see any of the text, so we don't see if it has Furigana or anything like that. What's next? Whoa, what's that? Body Mission Bond? No, that looks like a... Oh, no. Ooh. Ooh, Deca Police, hello! Oh my god! Voice acting? This looks like it could have Furigana. Oh, I don't see any Furigana, damn it! This is awesome! Yo, what the hell? Oh, no Furigana! Ah, oh, my heart is broken! This looks so cool! So it's a RPG detective police game. It seems to have like a Final Fantasy X RPG system. You can see the turns. <laughs> very cool art to style. Very cool art style and character designs. I like it. Oh, this is fun. Oh, this is just fun. Yeah, you can see the Final Fantasy X kind of menu at the top with the taking turns. What? That's so cool! Decker Police, when are you coming? This looks excellent. Sometime this year. Cool. Level 5! Hey! Furigana may be possible. I think every. Yeah, pretty much every level 5 game ever made is Furigana, so. Whew. Ah, Splatoon, oh well. Yeah, so Furigana is really, really important and it's something that most level five games have. So I'm really hoping this police game actually does have Furigana, it just didn't show it off in the trailer. That has happened before in the past, so hopefully that's the case. I would really hate for level five to stop making Furigana games. It would be a perfect Furigana game, so hopefully we'll see more of that sometime this year. Thank you very much. Let's have a look at the next headline. Natsu eh? No way! Huh? Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, oh. What's going on? It looks like Boku no Natsuyasumi! It, this is Boku no Natsumi! That's the same! What? This is, this is Boku no Natsuyasumi! What the hell? This is 100% Boku no Natsuyasumi, but with a worse art style? And no furigana! And no voice acting! Oh, what are you doing to me? This would be the perfect game for language learners if it had furigana and voice acting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is adorable! Just not as good as the PS1 one! Ah, <laughs> oh, the art style is really lame. Ah, oh, that's... Ah, oh, I don't know how to feel. Ah, oh, I'm happy and sad. Game designed by someone. Please have voice acting. Please. Natsumon. 20th century Natsuyasumi. Oh my god, this- oh, this summer, oh, that's so cute. That would be so cool! Boku no Natsuyasumi has been revived! What's this? Ah, uh, Fire Emblem Engage. Cool. Very nice. Expansion Pass is already coming? Nice. Hey, Hector! I love that guy! Man, Fire Emblem. Oh, this is also one of my favorite characters. I don't remember his name, but I used him a lot. 
And her! <laughs> Man, this game is so cool. It's such a cool game. Like, it goes really anime, but it's it's a fun time. I really like this game. It's so hype. It kind of doesn't take itself so seriously, and it's just kind of enjoying Fire Emblem as a franchise, which is something that it's really needed, I think. The last one was definitely my whole vibes, like Three Houses, but just kind of having fun is also really good as well, you know. I, I tend to like the darker things a bit more. Oops, speaking of dark, we've got DLC number four. Ooh, Jaryu no Sho. So we learnt Jaryu actually in the Fire Emblem episode, that's like the evil dragon, and Sho is the chapter. Oh, and there he is! Nice! Cool, when's that coming? Oh, right now! <laughs> Great, there you go, you can enjoy the expansion pass right now. Great. Okay. We have, we have some more. Sony. Pass! <laughs> oh, Katamari! Oh, that's a cute game. I wish this game had more language in it though, it's such a cute fun time. Oh, okay, you can play it on uh, the trial for online. Ooh, what's this? Mari no Atorie. Ooh, remake? Ooh. Okay. Wait, does it have a log? I can't see a log button. I can see run. I can see... Auto battle. This is a remake. I haven't played the original. <gasps> event log! It has an event log! Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, I may have to check this one out. It's not quite as, um... as the other ones. <laughs> oh, we've got a horror game. It's a cool art style. Uh, does it have voice acting? Maybe not. It looks cool though. It looks nice, a nice art style. I hope it has voice acting and I hope it has a chat log. That would make it useful. Right now, although the language it's using is pretty simple. But maybe the weird font might be difficult for OCR readers to read, because look, it has that kind of, like, 3D glasses effect on it. Paranorma Shaito. Paranorma Sight. Interesting. Okay. Oh, it's a cheap game. Probably doesn't have voice acting. Probably not. <laughs> Alright, what do we have next? Ooh, dungeon game. Oh! Yeah, these are those, uh, those dungeon ones that you, in your map, and you, yeah, 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 like this. <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. I was always curious about these games. It's kind of cool, right? You actually have to draw the map and, like, like, check through and find the right ways. Cool music. Art style is, uh, that's an art style. <laughs> that's a choice you could make when deciding to do an art style. <laughs> the monsters are kind of cool, though. Ah, uh, no Furigana, that's unfortunate. Awesome music, though, man. I love this classic music. So cool. Mm, I'm not sure if this would be a great game for learning Japanese, though. I think it's more of like a, just a gameplay type game. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's... Whoa, that's expensive! Whoa, that's an expensive game. Oh, uh, I guess it's three games, but... Yeah, it's a bit much. What's next? Ooh, what's this? It kind of... Looks like Kirby! There's one more story. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, a side story. About this little guy who lost his powers. Ah, that's cool. Nice. Okay. 
Okay, so he doesn't have any powers and he can only jump. Oh, okay, and as he defeats the enemies, he gets the power. Furigana! Yay! Furigana! This game is a good platformer game to learn Japanese with! Yay! Oh, this is cool! This is like a Kirby game, but without Kirby. This is like a traditional Kirby game. Ooh. Oh, you can play with your friends too! Oh, this looks like a fun little... Whoa, fun little time to learn Japanese, have some fun. I hope it has story. Please have more than just... Uh, okay, so it's after the game. Cool. Hey, hey, Kirby! Oh, nice! Taiken Ban! Yay, demo version! So if you want, you can play it out, you can try it out yourself. That's great. I wonder, does the normal Kirby have Furigana? I actually don't know, but I guess it does, yeah. Huh, cool, okay. Very cool. Right, so the Wii Deluxe. <laughs> so the Wii U did so badly that it's re-releasing all the games on Switch. <laughs> Let's go. What's next? Game Boy. Game Boy. What could this be? Game Boy. Oh, that's good. Oh, yes! Um, Super Mario Land! I used to play this game so much! And Warrior's Land? Oh, man, I want to play some of these games. Oh! Oh, Nintendo Online! Game Boy! That's awesome! Although the colors are... Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's how... It's better than it used to be. <laughs> Can't believe I used to play Pokemon like this. Oh, yes! The six uh, coins or whatever it is. Oh man, I love that game so much. Wow, that's a really high quality game. That's the original that they had, uh, they just remade on Switch. This is the original version. Oh man, that's cool. So Game Boy is coming to Nintendo Online. That's cool. I wonder if Pokemon's coming to Game Like, that would be so cool. Original Pokemon's. It'd be very nice because the problem is the text can be a little bit tricky. And especially when you play it on an emulator, it kind of stretches the text sometimes. So to be able to play it on, you know, a system like this could be the definitive best way of playing, perhaps. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, Wario! This game was so cool. I never got to play it in color, though. Wow, it looks beautiful. Yeah, Kirby! That's cool. I wonder if it's like locked to the color of the Game Boy type. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Oh, definitely doing color. Definitely doing color. Online play. Can you do online play Pokemon? You got Zelda. Pokemon card game! Whoa, okay. I wonder what other games are available. Soshite? Oh, Game Boy Advance! Oh, it looks beautiful! What? GBA is coming to Switch? Whoa, it looks awesome! Oh, please, Fire Emblem! Fire Emblem, please! Oh man! The Nintendo Switch is the best system ever made. It has to be. Wario! Oh, that's so cool. There you go, you got some Japanese. Man, my wife loves this game. Whoa, what's that? Kuru Kuru Kuru. Yay, Mario Kart. Oh. Man, I want to play some GBA right now. I don't know, Game Boy is a little bit too old for me, but Game Boy Advance is like the, just the right spot of nostalgia for me. It's like, it still looks really good. Nice and colorful. Whoa, what's that? That's beautiful. Oh, wow, I love that art style. I never played that one. 
Oh, oh man. Oh, I, I want to get some classic Game games Boy on Game Kinga. Oh my god. Let me know what Game Boy, Game Boy Advance games you want to see on the channel. Metroid. Fire Emblem. Yes. Yes. Fire Emblem. Lin. Yes. The good one. Yes. Oh yes. Oh, and Golden Sun. Did you see that at the very end? Oh, okay. So if you pay the online, you get Game Boy, but you have to pay the additional pack to unlock GBA, uh, like 64 and stuff. That's not bad. Mm. Well, right now? It's available right now? I gotta find out what games are on available for GBA. Wait. Wait, did he say more games are coming? I didn't I didn't hear. <laughs> Hopefully he did. What's up? Metroid Prime Oh, oh Genten? This isn't the new Prime is this the new Prime? Whoa. This isn't... It looks pretty good! But this isn't the new Prime. No, this is, this is the original Prime. <gasps> what?! Furigana?! On Metroid Prime?! What?! Someone's listening to me! <laughs> yes! Furigana! Oh, Nintendo, you've got my back. Oh, thank you so much. What is this? Is this like Metro Prime remastered? Cool, cool, cool. Oh, that's fantastic. That's amazing. Metro Prime, you can use that to learn Japanese. It has Furigana. That's so cool. Nintendo GameCube right. Prime. Is it just? Is it just the first one? Because I've got the the trip trilogy right there. Oh, oh, I want to play this on PC, man. Mm, the font's a little bit difficult to read, so it's really good that it has the Furigana. Because some of that kanji would be pretty tough for a beginner. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, this is awesome. When is this coming out? Hey! I have such a soft spot for things that like turn into balls. <laughs> like sand true and armadillos and stuff like that. Anything that like roly polies like Don Fan. I love them. <laughs> yeah, ball! <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is an awesome time. Oh, it's out right now! It's 40 bucks, but it's out right now. Oh my god, that's amazing. Oh! This is that new game. What was this? Oh! Oh! Shinigami-chan, that's kind of cute. Oh, please have Furigana, please, please. I've been a bit spoiled already, but please have Furigana. Please, voice acting at least. Logs, maybe? What is this? Oh, I didn't see a log button. Oh, it looks so cool, though. Voice acting! Oh, that's cool. Oh. oh, she can see the past? Oh, no Furigana! And no logs, it looks like. Ah, well, it does have push to continue, it seems, so that's at least good. I hope it has logs. Whoa, visuals, visuals, <laughs> visuals. Rain code. Okay, cool. Coming out 69. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that, that's fun. Rain code. That's something to look forward to. Yo. Baiten Kaitos? Baiten Kaitos? 
Oh man, I've been wanting to get this into the game so badly, but you can't get this game. And I've been trying to play it, but like, it's emulating this game is a nightmare. And you know, obviously, I would never emulate, of course. But, uh, so, yes, it's coming out on the Switch. Yes, thank you. This game has voice acting. Oh, oh, yes, Spyten Kaitos is coming to Game Gengo. <laughs> oh, that's sick. One and two, did it say? Oh my, look how beautiful this is. Oh, this is great. That's like that's like like a Final Fantasy X level experience right there. Oh. oh, I'm happy. This is a great Nintendo Direct. Oh man. Great for that Japanese language learners and great for Game Gengo as well, for me personally and for the channel. Ah, oh, this is great. Wow, it looks great. One and two. Yes, thank you, Bandai Namco. You guys are the best. Kono Natsu. Okay, a couple of things coming out this summer. That's great. Awesome. What's that? Fushiginashima. Fantasy World, or whatever it is? Fantasy Dungeon? Fantasy. Fantasy Kingdom? Fantasy Life. I see, right. It's kind of cute. It's kind of got like some Dragon Quest. Ah! Furigana! This is the perfect game for Furigana! What are you doing, Nintendo? Put Furigana on this game! This would have been one of the best games for learners if it had Furigana. Damn! Okay, so it's like Animal Crossing as well, as well as Minecraft, Dragon Quest Builders. Wow, this is... Looks like a fun chill time. It's kind of cute. Oh, Animal Crossing. Oh man, my wife would love this game so much. <laughs> Very dangerous. Cool. Level 5! Yo, what's up with level 5 not doing Furigana games? Maybe Furigana may come later. I hope so. Level Every level 5 game has Furigana. Layton? Holy shit! Dude, Layton's alive! Oh my god! Hello! Hi! Layton! You're back! Level 5! Dude, what? Level 5's on fire! What the hell? Oh my god, a new Professor Layton game come on Nintendo Switch? Oh my god! Oh, that's so cool. Level 5 is just kicking it out of the park. Level 5 is like one of the best companies for language learners because almost all of their games have Furigana. The only downside is a lot of the times the games aren't released overseas. And that is one downside. But you can still, if you can find ways of buying the Japanese game, like for example, you, know, you need to buy the Japanese version in order to play it in Japanese most of the time. If you can find ways of buying the Japanese game, they're often some of the very best games for learning Japanese with. Uh, you know, like even Nino Kuni is a level 5 game. Um, that Megaton Musashi is a level 5 game. There are so many in incredibly good games on uh, level 5, so it's great to see that they're making more games and that the company's still pushing strong, because they're one of my personal favorite games uh, for kind of entry-level uh, games for learning Japanese with, so that's amazing. Man, Mario Kart's such a fun time. Alrighty. Morsug Hatsubai. Very soon releasing games. Oh, that's some cool. Ah, HQ. Ah, Tales of Symphonia. It's coming out in a couple of days. Cool. Ah. This is the game I was telling you about. This has so much music in it. Taiken Bun. There's a demo version. Ah, oh, that game is crazy good. Whoa, what's this? Train, train game. Little monkey chan. Donkey Kong? <laughs> it's not Donkey Kong. Not Kirby. Selfie stick. Train game, train game. Plane game. Whoa. Oh, it's, it's the Momotaro game, right? The, the, yeah, this game. I've never actually played this game, but it's kind of like Monopoly for the world or something, right? <laughs> like, I've never really played it. 
That's cute. Okay, so you travel around the world. It'd be nice if it had Furigana. Oh, well. Well, it's good for money. <sighs> it could just be a fun time, you know, fun, fun little game. It looks cool being able to travel around the world. Konami, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Konami. Gonna have some pachinko elements in it. Ah, Kochira Koso. Oh, it's the last one. Oh, it's gotta be Zelda. It has to be Zelda, right? Ah, oh, so no Metro Prime. That looks like a volcano. That sounds like Zelda. That looks like Zelda. Whoa. Particles? Sky? It's Zelda! Oh, difficult Japanese. Whoa. Okay, the world's going to chaos. Zelda on a horse. I mean, Link. <laughs> Link on us. <laughs> I did the thing. Whoa, monsters carrying monsters. That's kind of cool. Creepy monster dudes. Link. Ooh, okay. Link, you can't win like this. Whoa, you can grind. Whoa, okay, so they're going all out. That looks like a mechanical hand. What happened to Link's hand? Oh, wow, they're really just going all out with the crazy stuff. Whoa, you fly in the air? Hopefully this game has more dialogue than the previous one, because the previous one was pretty difficult for a language learner, even if it had Furigana. Oh yeah, there's some- Ooh, coming very, very, very soon. What's that, Gorgatsu? What's that, January, February, March, April, May? <laughs> awesome! Very soon. Okay, that's a cool collector's edition. Okay, ah, so if you don't get to see any footage of, like, gameplay or anything like that, hopefully it has more dialogue and voice acting than the previous one. The previous one was really good, but it was just a little bit too open for a language learner, and it was a really difficult language, so it's kind of a tough one for me to really recommend as, like, a great language learning game, but hopefully this one does a, maybe a bit more dialogue, a little bit more focused story, but... That was a really cool direct. There were so many interesting games for learning Japanese with, actually quite surprisingly, quite a lot of games with Furigana. So there's lots of things to look forward to, both for the classic games as well as new games that are coming. So I think Nintendo Switch is just kicking it out of the park, man. These Nintendo Directs are so enjoyable. Very happy with this Nintendo Direct. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks so much guys for watching. I hope you enjoy learning Japanese with video games. It's such a fun way of enjoying learning Japanese, just immersing in all of your favorite games in Japanese. I absolutely love it. Hope you guys enjoy everything I've got in store for you this year with the channel. Thanks so much guys for watching. I'll see you all again next time. See ya.